Peter, we're on the drill, finally. It's the 18th of October now, and we've been waiting for the last two weeks now to try and get drilling. We did start yesterday though. Yeah, we started yesterday uh, just to see how it would go, and it went all right actually. We managed to, how many, how many acres did we get in yesterday? Uh, 40. Today we're drilling winter barley, aren't we? Yeah. And it is getting towards cutoff time, would you well, say, with bit, barley? It's a bit late, but it's, it's it won't grow in the bag, so we no. we'll put it in the ground and it'll either grow or it won't. Yeah. We bought the seed last year and we didn't get to use it last year because it was so wet, we didn't actually get to drill at all last year. And it is literally only just goable now and uh, the weather forecast isn't great for next week. Peter reckons it's going to be dry, I reckon it's going to be wet. But uh, either way, we got to get it in the ground as soon as possible, really. All the green stuff, the farmer came through yesterday. He sprayed all that off, so everything should, that should kill everything, shouldn't it? All the volunteer barley should be dead, yeah. And any black grass and weeds and all the rest yeah. of it, that'll all die as well. Uh, putting 200 weight to the acre on. Is that a little, normal, little more than today. normal? Yeah, a little bit heavier than normal, but because it's old seed, the germination rate will be down a little bit and because it's late it needs a little bit extra as well so right talk us through it then peter what's your job tell us how you do it push this so you... pulls forward and it lets that belt marker down which yeah. scratches a line in the field and if you look in the front turn your camera around can you see the line yeah. i'll line that up with the center of the bonnet you can only just see that you can only just see it but Sometimes you can't see it when it's too dry, but you follow the centre of the bonnet down there and it should match up to your previous pass then. And because this field isn't this field is a bit wriggly and all over the place, what do you how do you drill it like that? How do you drill your tram lines and stuff like that? Uh, well you just there is no straight hedge. Normally if you drill in a field you, you pick a straight hedge and work from that, but there is no straight hedge uh, here, so you just work on a curve all the way across the field. Alright. It'll be alright. And how does the seed come out of the drill? When the wheels turn, so as you drop the seat, as you drop the drill down, you drop the drill down on the floor, and it starts turning the meter in the drive wheel on the ground, which yeah. turns the metering system of the drill, yeah. meters the seed out, and it gets blown up into the mushroom and down all the pipes to the coulters. Sweet. We have got the other drill ready. It's uh, we don't know if it's going to go, do, do we? Because it's it might, uh, might be too wet. For it, it. it might be too wet. It's a it's a big heavy drill, it's got a um, power harrow on the front, uh, so we don't know what's going to go on with that. Uh, the farmer's just giving it a test out, hopefully it can, so we can get more planted in a day, that would be good wouldn't it? Yeah, get two drills going. Yeah. How many, how many, how many acres would you get in a day with two? Um, well, you can, if you have a good long day, you can drill 100 with this, you drill, I don't know, 30, 30 with that I suppose. Yeah. It all depends what the conditions are like. If you can go fast, you drill more than that. You yeah. Forty. We'll uh, we'll get out and we'll have a look at the field and we'll have a look at how Peter gets loaded up. What would be your normal rate at an optimum time of year and optimum weather conditions? What what seed normal, rate? Yeah. Uh, hundred weight and a half normal. That's the traditional rate for barley. I, what what does that mean? That's. Uh, <laughs> That's 75 kilos to the acre. Oh, right. I don't know what 100 weight is. 100 weight is 50 kilos. Oh, yeah, yeah, you did say the other day. Oh, I did tell you, but you don't so listen, do 200 you? weight is a ton? No. <laughs> 200 <laughs> weight is a ton. 20 hundred weight, that's it. <laughs> Look at that one. You don't want that going in the combine, yeah? No. We always try and pick up, if you see a big stone, we always try and pick up the big stones. Uh, what you'd normally do is uh, come in with the rolls and the rolls just push all the stones in and what it does is it firms up the ground to help with um, germination. Is it doing a good job, Pete? Uh, yeah, it's not too bad, it's not perfect, but uh, it's burying most of the seed because we are putting a lot on, so you can see the odd grain on top, but nothing major. Just a little bit sticky, but yeah, that's what it's like. This field's now done. Peter's going to his next field and he needs some seed, so we're going to take the Manitou 
and go and get some seed for him. He needs loading. Uh, we've got a ton of seed on there. We just lift it up with a man or two, then Peter's got to go up and undo the bag. So I'll let Pete do the rest. Does it fit a ton in there quite easy, Pete? Yeah. You got a bit of leeway? Yeah, so it should be easy. Because you're always, not always putting just a ton in, you sometimes have a little bit. Well, you? There was a bit left in there, so you never get it completely empty, so you want a little bit of extra space. Right, Pete, There we are. That's how Peter loads the drill. How long will that last you? Uh, hour. Oh, all right. Yeah, fair while. So uh, the other drill is in the other field. I don't know how they're getting on just yet. But uh, we'll ring him and see if he wants some seed. What's the field conditions like here, Peter? Any better or? Fit? Still, still sticky, Stick. but uh, should be okay. If the other one went, this one probably will wants the sun to shine to dry on the top. Yeah. Right? Yeah. We're better. Come on, sun. I haven't seen him in like four months. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, you can probably see there we got Keithy uh, up here this morning. He brought a trailer load of seed for us, and it's all barley going in the. We want. We like to keep all the winter barley in the same place. That means the combine hasn't got to go on the road here, there, and everywhere when it comes to harvest, you can just come to a block to do, our, do all the um, barley in one go. Farmer's on the uh, combination drill. It looks like he's getting on all right. And we're just gonna grab two more bags for him. There we go, we got him. Whenever you're traveling with heavy bags, that's a ton of weight on the front there. You always wanna have... Just make sure our time is level. You always want to have your way as near to you as you can and low down as well you don't want them right up in the air swinging about uh, we are going to go and find him not so easy with one hand <laughs> right so we're just looking you can see where the uh, drill's been and uh, it's actually not doing a bad job. There's a seed. What you're checking for, you don't want too much seed laid on top, which it isn't, but it leaves a beautiful finish. The uh, power harrow on there just smashes everything, you know, gets all the soil smashed up, leaves a lovely finish. It's got a big roller on there to level everything out as well. And then your uh, seed bars at the back. Hopefully when the farmer stops, he can talk us around it quick. But uh, as you can imagine, we're pretty limited with time. We've only got two days really to try and get as much as we can in the ground uh, before it's predicted to rain again. All right, so it's about three o'clock in the afternoon. Pete has just joined us in this new field. Now, if you look to the behind me there, you can see it's all dark, 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 and then there's lines of green. Where you can see the green, after the rain, you can see it's knocked all the heads out and that was the difference so all of that green there is is loss that's uh wheat loss and it's not straight out the combine it's actually it's lost from the weather due to just the weather so all of that green there should have been in our shed and it's not which is a pain all this green down here that's black grass and a few weeks ago we had a another four inches of rain and this i wouldn't even be able to uh thing it, we passed me well is it was all underwater and well we're just going to see if Pete can get through it got all this black grass here look that's uh, that's your worst nightmare you don't want any of that we've only put half a ton of seed in his hopper 
because we know this part of the field was very very wet so let's just see how it gets on and there's a little brook that runs down the side of here all of this was just completely water all the way down To be fair, it looks to be travelling all right. If you would have seen this, literally a week ago, this is all underwater. Which is quite remarkable. Peter himself was expecting to sink. <laughs> but at least we're getting some in, that's the main thing. I think about all the years I made up and I think I'm running out of time. moved on now but um, they're managing to get most of it in and uh, we've still got a little bit of barley left so we need to get the barley in first but that's going to be the end of the video anyway hopefully we can keep going there is weather coming in in the next couple of days so we'll see how we go on that one and, uh, yeah thanks for watching as always and we'll catch you on the next one cheers